Hello, my name is Bhavya Reddy with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video is about how to administer Session Manager at a customer location after it's installed. This slide provides the checklist for the initial administration of a newly installed Session Manager. You will first log into System Manager associated with this Session Manager and navigate to Network Routing Policy, also known as Routing, and add the domain names for Session Manager, after which you will add the installed Session Manager as a SIP entity. Next, you will administer the Session Manager in the Session Manager Element Manager and make sure that the service state is set to accept new service. Finally, you will test the installation and then verify if System Manager is replicating its data to the Session Manager. In the last slide, we saw the first step is to add domain names for Session Manager. To do that, log into System Manager and navigate to Routing, Domains, and click on New. In the Name field, you will enter the network domain name of the Session Manager. You will leave the type to SIP and the Notes field is optional. Click on Commit. The next step is to add Session Manager as a SIP entity. To do that, navigate to SIP Entities under Routing. and click on New. In the Name field, you will enter the name of the Session Manager. In the Fully Qualified Domain Name or IP Address field, enter the IP address of the Session Manager Security Module. Please keep in mind that this is not the Management IP address, but the IP address of the Session Manager Security Module. Scroll down. Under the port section of the screen, click on add to add all port, protocol and default domain entries for each port and protocol on which session manager will be listening for SIP traffic. Here, there is a port 5061 and the protocol is TLS. Go ahead and select the default domain for this. You can also click on Add to add another entry and select the port to be 5060 and the protocol to be TCP. And click on Commit. Once you have added Session Manager as a SIP entity, you will then administer Session Manager under Session Manager Element Manager. Click on Session Manager Administration. Under Session Manager Instances, click on New. In the SIP Entity Name field, you will select the Session Manager that you just added as a SIP entity. Under the Management Access Point Hostname or IP, you will enter the IP address of the host on which Session Manager is installed. Under the Security Module section, you will enter the network mask of the Session Manager Security Module and you will enter the default gateway of the Session Manager Security Module. Click on Commit. After administering the Session Manager instance, it may take several minutes for the configuration changes to replicate down to the Session Manager servers. Wait a few minutes before continuing with the validation of the configuration. The next step is to check the service state of Session Manager. Navigate to Dashboard and make sure that the Session Manager you just administered has a service state of Accept New Service. 
To test the Session Manager instance, navigate to System Tools, Maintenance Tests, select the appropriate Session Manager instance from the drop-down list, and go ahead and execute all the tests. Make sure that the test results are successful. The last step is to verify if System Manager is replicating its data to Session Manager. To check the replication status, navigate to Services, Replication, click on the Replica group, and make sure that the Session Manager you just administered is synchronized with System Manager. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.